OBS, you can keep pretty simple. You can do your aux input, right? Or I'm sorry, your aux output, and then your voice meter output, regular output, which is your B1. So you have B1, B2, but in here, you have so many different sources, which you can adjust all your audios to like, you know, say for example, I know that my friends are really loud in Discord, so I can already bring that down. Let's say Spotify, I wanna make sure it's, it's low so I'm not blasting everybody's ear and just stuff like that. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a quick one, but I'm just gonna go over two main reasons why you might wanna to switch to voice meter potato if you either have voice meter banana or you have regular voice meter and you're looking for a more advanced level to have more variety with your sound, your stream, etc. So I'm just gonna tell you why I think Voice Meter Potato has the best options for you. Again, if you're looking to advance from Voice Meter Banana, the settings and everything is gonna be the same, but just the look of it and the some of the tools are a little bit different. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first one is pretty obvious just from looking at this that you're gonna have an additional two hardware inputs an additional virtual input called this VAIO3, which is actually an input that comes with Voice Meter Banana. So if I'm, if I go down here, you'll see it as an input source similar to your aux input and your regular input. It's just an additional virtual input, which is really, really nice to have. It's not your additional cable input that you have to download. So now with the cable input and this uh, virtual input, you're getting an basically an additional input for free, which will really help you out to break up that audio. So if you're looking to split audio between your Discord, between your game audio, between your music, browsers, etc., however you wanna set it up, that's up to you, but it's really, really nice to have. So yeah, that's really the main big difference and you just have, a, and then you just have uh, some variety here, which I'll go over briefly. But again, just having two additional inputs is great. And then having that additional virtual input is a game changer, trust me. All right, so the next thing and the pretty obvious one, if you're looking at it, is this additional slider for volume for each program that you have within that virtual input. So for example, I have Spotify set up here. Uh, I, I had it to my regular input a little, you know, before I started the video. So that's why it's gonna show up here. But your defaults will show up here. So just don't worry too much about you know, having all three of them because it's just going to show up naturally. If I close the program, reopen it, and I have it set to VAO3, it'll just show up on VAO3. But since I was just testing this out earlier, uh, it's showing up here. But in order to determine that I have Spotify set up to VAO3, you'll go to your sound settings, uh, advanced sound options, then I have Spotify premium set to VAO3. Okay. So if I play that, play that there, back to voice meter. So I have Spotify here in the slider to VAO3 going to you guys B1. So obviously I'll switch that off. You can't hear it. Switch that back on. And now I have this volume to play with. It's really, really useful, uh, especially if you, you know, you start with Spotify and you forget you have the volume, you know, all the way up, you could just make sure this slider's down and then adjust it. And then you could also add this to a MIDI controller if you want to. I did a video on that, so you you know you can check that out, how to set up a MIDI controller with this. But yeah, your functionality with this is next level and it really, really, really helps you out. So like, for example, with VIO, I have my Google Chrome, which is gonna give me audio. Let's say if I'm at YouTube and I'm playing something on YouTube, I have the VAO3 there just to separate it from my, you know, regular inputs. Cause for the most part, any desktop audio, if you have your default set to virtual input, I mean, I'm sorry, if you have your default set to set to voice meter input, most of your desktop audio is going to come through here. So you want to kind of separate that with the programs that you know, you're going to be using a lot. And then like, for example, I have discord set up on the cable output. So if I go to discord, uh, quick plug, 
If you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to do that. I'll do my best to help you out. And there's a lot of great people in here that'll help you out if you come to this general discussion or audio issues. There's a lot of good, great people in here that will help you out with any audio issues you have. And I'll do my best to get back with you. So be sure to join up. And so as you can see, I have my microphone uh, aux output going here, then cable input. So yeah, that's on my hardware input too. So you can already see how complex this can get, you know, going into OBS, right? So OBS, you can keep pretty simple. You can do your aux input, right? Or I'm sorry, your aux output, and then your voice meter output, regular output, which is your B1. So you have B1, B2, but in here, you have so many different sources, which you can adjust all your audios to like, you know, say for example, I know that my friends are really loud in discord. So I could already bring that down. Let's say Spotify. I want to make sure it's, it's low. So I'm not blasting everybody's ear and just stuff like that. You know, on top of that, the last thing I'll just mention is the features that you have in voice meter potato is, is amazing because I have my EQ set up for my mic here, which I haven't turned on now, but you have EQs, you know, you have your compression, your gate, your microphone. So there's just a lot of great features that don't come with voice meter banana. I mean, essentially for free. I think there's an upgrade that you can get with voice meter potato, but you don't have to do it right away. It's kind of like a pay what you can type of deal. So if you can help them out, that's great, but you don't really have to. But yeah, so that's just some of the things that I really like about voice meter potato and I had success in setting it up. I mean, to me, it was a lot easier because I already knew a lot about voice meter banana. So again, I'll mention that if you're familiar with voice meter banana, voice meter potato is going to be you know, seamless transition, and then you're getting some additional features, which is what I really love about it. So again, thank you guys very much. I appreciate the love on a lot of videos. Sorry, I haven't been around. I've been really busy with work, but I'm gonna try my best to get back doing some videos. I am gonna do a full installation setup for Voice Meter Potato in the next weeks. I'm doing some audio stuff, doing some music, if you have any ideas or anything, any questions you have with Voice Meter Potato, Voice Meter Banana, OBS, whatever the case, be sure to let me know. So yeah, be sure to subscribe so you're up to date with all my videos and I will see you guys on the next one.